I'm going to be showing you how to do an LCD replacement on the 11 inch MacBook Air. And first we're going to start off by taking off the bezel. And we're going to start by doing that by using a little bit of heat around the edges. And then we're going to pull it up after it's nice and hot. I'm just going to get into the corner and start it. I'm going to take this plastic tool and use it to pry up the rest. Just going to heat up a little section at a time. You don't have to heat up all the way around the edge, just a section at a time because it cools down really fast. So you can get your plastic tool under there to, to pry it up. Now it's usually the sides that are going to be the toughest that have the, the most tape on the side so this top edge should be a little bit easier to to lift up and be careful of the camera components right here you want to keep the, the plastic uh, tool lifted up a little bit as you're as you're lifting the, the bezel up Once again, once we get to these sides, we're just going to heat it up in, in sections, little sections, because this side is a little bit tougher to get up. Okay, now that we've lifted this whole outer edge, we're going to go to the bottom edge here, and that's going to require some more heat. You don't want to just go right in with it with the with the plastic tool because you will bend this part if it, if it's not heated up enough. I'm just gonna put it right here to start it. I'm gonna lift the bottom palm wrist back a little bit. And then start heating it. Once again, I'm going to do little sections at a time so I can just lift it little by little. And there's your bezel. Okay, now we're going to be showing the removal of the LCD. Uh, first thing I did is took the back panel off and uh, disconnected the battery again so we don't risk uh, shocking the board or anything. So the first thing I'm going to do is there's five screws that I'm going to take out. and there's tape on top of each screw. You're gonna have to remove those. Seven screws, because there's two screws in the inverter board, and we want to take those out as well. Okay, 
And once our screws are out, uh, the LCD is actually uh, glued in. So we want to start in the corner and lift up the, the corner edge here. And just to get it started, I want to put the plastic tool right there because I'm going to be using some heat to go around the outer edges to loosen up the, the tape or the glue. And just like the bezel, I'm going to be doing little sections at a time. And you don't want to go more farther than about an eighth of an inch in because you will risk scratching the underlying layers underneath this LCD panel. So I'm just using the tip of my plastic tool here to lift the LCD from the back panel. I don't want to go too far in because I don't want to scratch those underlying layers there. Okay, once we've finished separating the LCD, we're going to pull the LCD down now. and lay it flat on the keyboard and there are two connections here from the LCD uh, there's the backlight cable uh, to the inverter board and we're going to show you some still photos of a better shot of that up close and uh, the display cable so I'm just going to disconnect those two right now And I just used some tweezers and my pick to flip up the connector and I'm going to use the tweezers to pull out the uh, inverter board connector cable. Okay, once I have the inverter board cable disconnected, I can flip down the inverter board and have a little bit more play. And then you'll be able to get to the display cable. And the display cable is pretty self-explanatory, it has that self-locking lever on it and we are going to show you more still photos of this up close so I just flip it back and you will be able to disconnect the display cable from there okay just for fun we're going to pull back these three layers and show you the backlight and how bright it is. So there's three layers underneath the LCD. You can see the LCD we have pulled down here right now. So this is the actual LCD. I push this forward and there's three underlying layers right here. We're just gonna take those off. see these there's three different layers behind the LCD so I took those off and here's the actual backlight I'm going to turn it on just to show you how bright it is you can see that's what lights up the back LCD